this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview this Servo SE 1640 High Precision Tool Room Lathe. Yet this happens to be a fantastic machine and we preserved one last machine for you here at Machinery Consultants. This is a 16 inch over the bed by 40 between centers high precision tool room lathe. It's currently wired at 220 volts three phase. That being said, it happens to be our serial number AY-066 and our stock number is 9904. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and run this machine through its functions, spindle speeds, feeds, threads, so forth. We'll go through the tooling that comes with it. It's very well tooled and it runs great. The condition is absolutely fantastic. It came to us from a limited use research facility. Go ahead, Frank. Let's run it through some speeds. It has 12 spindle speed changes, ranging from 36 to 2,000. 2,000 RPM. 55. That's 55 RPM. That's 75 RPM. You'll notice how easy it is when he changes the speeds. This machine is set up as well as the fact that it has a foot brake. It's set up with a jog button. On your left shoulder here, Frank. Three seven. That's 370 RPM. Let me pan out a little bit so I can show the digital readout as well. There we go. That was 630 RPM. No, 130, sorry. Oh, excuse me, 130 RPM. 250. Okay, we're currently running a 9 inch 3 jaw chuck. It's set up with the Mitatoyo UDR220 series 2 axis lathe digital readout. It has a steady rest with the roller bearings. Oh, that's a fun speed. Where are we at? That's 630. That's 630 there. Very responsive on the foot brake. So from a safety point of view here at Machinery Consultants, we always take pride in the fact that we like to point out our safety. We wear our safety glasses. We're very safety conscious. This machine, that being said, offers the best of both worlds in the fact that it has a foot brake. You'll notice that down here we have a foot brake for immediate stopping. Go ahead, clear. 1250. That's 1250 RPM. The nice thing about this machine is the fact that it has inch and metric threads. Okay, this is the top speed of 2000 RPM. The overall weight on this machine is about 4,200 pounds. Very smooth, very quiet. This is a high precision machine. Uh, nice, nice and responsive. So machines like this here at Machinery Consultants, we take great pride in offering. Again, it happens to be our stock number 9904. And we have a price to sell. Getting back to the items that come with the machine, it has a full length taper attachment, steady rest, follow rest, nine inch three jaw chuck, face plate, two axis digital readout. It appears as though we're running the feed. It has built-in feet on the apron, built-in feet on the cross. Oh, prompt me on that DRL. Let me get up there, Frank. Got it. Another nice thing about this machine is the fact that it has the sight glasses right here so you can automatically see where you're at here as well as right here on your levels for your fluid in the headstock, the gearbox, the 
feed box, everywhere that's involved basically with this machine. You have your follow arrest, your steady arrest. Now another safety aspect of this machine is the fact that it has the built-in limit switch that's engaged off of the clear, it's engaged off of the cover. So if this cover is lifted up, the limit switch engages, therefore cutting off the signal to the spindle. Uh, it has the halogen work light. Oh, let's show them the tooling, right? We have a very nice heavy duty, what is that, a 16 inch diameter faceplate, roughly? Nice faceplate. Um, uh, yeah, thanks. Has the nice centers with it, has the reducing sleeve. Got my calibrated eye, about 16, roughly. I'm, how big? 13. Yeah, it'd have to be a 13 because the machine spring 16, huh? Even has the screwdriver, so those are the extra set of hard top jaws. You know, getting up close and personal here on these ways, and the taper attachment. It's a taper attachment on the rear. Crossways, bedways. Another thing I'd like to point out is the fact that this machine has a gap. What that means is basically we're talking 26 inches through the gap. So standard is 16 inches over the bed. 40 inches of center distance. But we have a gap here. We have a gap here that extends out right here. That's a 26 inch, 26 inch swing through the gap. And that's at, a, at least 11 inches from what I can see, but from the base of spindle, we're out about seven, eight inches. Uh, but you'll see we're very refined here on the dials and the handles and everything. Again, it's inch metric threading, inch metric feeds. four-way tool post. You'll find this video on our website at machineryconsultants.com. Is that a good angle? Oh, the spindle bore on this here. Yeah, let's talk the specs. We got uh, D16, very common spindle taper. The spindle bore is 2 and 7 sixteenths. And another thing that's really super cool on this, so will you gently slow uh, hit that foot brake for me? Thank you, bro. Another thing that's really cool on this is the fact that it has the threads on the ID of the spindle taper. Okay, so here at Machinery Consultants, give us a jing, 801-531-9500. We're just a mouse click away at www.machineryconsultants.com. This machine's so easy to run, even I can do it. We look forward to hearing from you here at Machinery Consultants. We're just a mouse click away at machineryconsultants.com. Let me make sure I'm in the free. Let me place. Go ahead and click on the parent tab of used machines, and then the sibling of engine lanes. Then you'll pull this up under stock number 9904. And again, it's a Servo SC 1640. Give us a call. We'd love to take care and answer any questions. Until next time, thanks again. Be happy, be healthy, and have a great day. Thanks. Better.